No! For those of you that are new here, my name is Lindsay, and please make sure to hit that big red subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys can know every single time I upload a very crappy video. Alright, so today I'm so super excited for this video because it is a challenge that involves makeup and kind of like playing a game, and that's really fun. So, one of my best friends, Shania, she saw a girl on Facebook that wrote down all the numbers of the eyeshadows that were in her eyeshadow palette and cut them up, put them into a hat, mixed them up, and then did an eyeshadow look based on the numbers that she drew. Now, I don't know who the girl was because it looked like someone maybe random or just someone I've never seen before, but it was so sweet of Shania to think of that and suggest it to me, and I thought it'd be really, really fun. And I also saw that Nikki Tutorials did it, and I watched her video, and I think she computer-generated, um, like, random numbers, but I don't have the technology for that, and I just don't know. So the palette that I picked to do the random numbers pick my eyeshadow look is Urban Decay Born to Run. I purchased this palette um, the same month I got here I think and I just thought it really fit me because I'm like oh my god Born to Run and it says you're not lost you're born to run and I thought that was really cute and it just kind of like resembled me moving here and like it was a big change in my life and I thought it was cute okay and the Polaroids come on this is so nostalgic like I don't know so this is what the palette looks like I figured this would be a really good palette because it has a lot of fun colors but also a lot of neutral colors that you know you know but I was like oh some of these colors I've never worn and that would kind of like force me out of my comfort zone so this is a fun game to play I feel like if you're with friends or just by yourself like me um, or if you're just trying to get out of your comfort zone or try a new look and who knows it might look like it's gonna be a weird combination but once you put it on it might actually turn out really nice so I have my palette ready and then I already wrote down all of the numbers so there's 21 eyeshadows in this where's the okay there's 21 eyeshadows in this palette and I already wrote all of them down I swear I'm not lying they're all here and I'm gonna put them into a hat and I'm going to mix them up and I'm going to draw I think you pick like three. Oh my gosh did I forget the rules let me look it up I think you pick like three right okay so it looks like some people pick six some people pick five some three some four it looks like three would be like the mmm one, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six. Why are people doing six colors though? I don't know if I want to do six. It looks like a lot of people are doing six colors, but that's kind of a lot for the eyes. I don't. I have really small eyes, so I don't know how six colors is gonna look. I'm like looking in the mirror trying to figure out how many colors I should do. I'm trying to think how many colors on average do I do. I feel like I do a crease color, an outer corner color, a lid color. Sometimes I highlight the inside and then a color here. So I could do like, we'll do, you know what, it's a freaking challenge, I'm going to do five colors, alright, I'm not doing six because I'm not, I'm stubborn, alright, but it's kind of cute because look, look at this hat, I think I got this from Five Below when I lived back home. So I'm going to put one through twenty-one all into the hat, lo lo lo, then we're going to shake it. Oh, I need to stop. Okay, so I'm like actually shaking it. I'm not looking. So I'm going to show you guys. I'm not looking. I'm going to pick five. I hate you guys because I don't want to pick five. So I'm just going to shuffle them again in my hand, fingers, whatever. So the first one we have is 12. Oh, why am I twisting my arm like that? <laughs> so the first number that I have is 12. Um, yeah, cool, awesome. I don't think you have to do them in the order you pick the numbers. I think you just kind of like do your own look. The whole point is to just, you're forced with the colors. I think that's the gist of it. So the next number is 18. Come on down, look a look a All right, mix them up, mix them up, mix them up. Okay, I swear I'm looking at myself. This number is 10, oh yeah. Why am I getting all the high numbers? I feel like those are all darks. Okay. 17! Okay, so how many? I got one more. Come on. I don't want a dark color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and 11. Oh, 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 oh. So I have 12, 18, 10, 17, and 11. So in order, that's 10, 11, 12, 17, 18. That's kind of weird. Um, maybe I didn't mix them well. I tried. I shook it pretty well. I don't know. Okay. What did I do? Where am I? I did something. I don't know what I did. All right, weirdo. So I zoomed you guys in um, a little bit so you can see my eyes better. I'm not going to go like all the way in when I do tutorials, but um, it's, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna keep it like this. Sorry. Okay, so let's see. We have 10, which would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have to use this shade right here, which is a, ooh, it's like a dark coppery, almost like a penny with a hint of like orange in it type vibe. Let's just swatch it real quick. It looks like that. And then on the back of the hand, so we have to use that color. I'm gonna keep them on my hand to remind myself because I do not remember shit. <laughs> then we have 11, so that would be the purple. Oh God, this is gonna be interesting. So we have this shimmery purple, and we're gonna swatch it here. Ooh. And then we have 12, <laughs> which is Ignite. And that's a really pretty, that's more of a coppery color, like genuinely. And so, ooh, that was really pretty. Really pretty. And then we have 17, 18, so if that's 12, then we have 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. These are all shimmers! These are all freaking <laughs> shimmers! So this is like a shimmery brown, which is actually really pretty. Oh, wow. Oh, bitch. Okay, and then eight. I'm scared of black eyeshadow, guys. I try my best, but I'm scared. This is in Jet. Uh, get it? Get black. <laughs> okay. Um, I've seen better blacks in my day. <laughs> it's it's not a bad black. It's just I've seen like more pigmented, creamier ones. But their formula is different. So okay. So these are the colors I have to use. <laughs> this is definitely like a nighttime look or like a fall winter look in my opinion. But what sucks and why I was hoping I would get some like smaller numbers is because the smaller numbers would have been these mats whereas there's only a couple mats in the last two rows okay so i'm working with all shimmers and i'm freaking scared out of my life and i don't even know what i'm gonna do with five eyeshadows like i don't think i ever used five different colors on my eyes and if i have please call me out but i don't remember don't ask me what i'm doing because i don't know don't ask me what I'm doing with my life. Don't ask me what I'm doing with this look. Like, how am I going to do all shimmers? That is going to look a little crazy. Um, but I am using my Max Factor X Miracle Prep Eye Primer, which I always use now that I moved here. It's really cheap. Like, I love Urban Decay's, but, like, the price? Honey, no. I don't know. I always get the travel size because I'm cheap. And broke but okay oh this eye already looks dark oh my god the hand that I swatched with I just like whatever I'm gonna like cover it anyways that's that wasn't very smart of me I gotta itch I gotta itch I gotta itch okay so oh I can't even <gasps> I'm fucking dumb that means I can't even set my eyes with a color or can you you kind of have to set your eyes with a color if I don't set my eyes with a color, I don't know what the rules are. I didn't, I mean, I watched Nikki's, but I don't remember what she did. And her videos are long. I love her, but I don't feel like going back and looking at it. If I wasn't in the middle of filming, I'd go back and watch it, but I don't got time. Can I, can I just like cheat? I mean, I feel like I cheat in every freaking thing. Um, I'm gonna set my primer. Just because I feel like that's technically not cheating because it's, the primer has nothing to do with like my look. It just has to do with like setting the primer and things not looking super um, blotchy. What color am I going to go in with first? I am not a makeup artist. I always say this. I just love makeup and it's fun. It's relaxing. <sighs> There's so many other colors I just want to play with. Out of all these fun colors, really? Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna put 
these two shimmery colors, this one and this one in my crease. I'm gonna go in with this color first, which is Ignite. So I'm gonna use my Jeffree Star eyeshadow, um, pal I almost said palette, um, eyeshadow brush. Um, and I'm just gonna put it in my crease. Oh God. Oh, putting a shimmer in the crease. Ah! I feel like I'm in high school again. No, I feel like I'm in like my senior year or like my first year of college where I just put like one shimmery shade all over my eye. Like I am triggered right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's actually, it kind of looks pretty. Like why? <laughs> my face. <laughs> Anyone else laugh at their face while they do makeup? Just me. Is it just the me, Mari Ori? Okay, is that even kind of? I've hooded lids, I say this all the time, but I have such bad, like, ugh. It's so hard because I do my eyeshadow and then I look forward, and I'm like, oh, it's gone. But I always have to, like, raise my crease. And it's annoying. And then everyone's like, why didn't your eyeshadow look like that? My fucking business, Betsy. Do you have hooded lids? I don't think so. All right, <laughs> over it. Next. Was it? Okay, so that was, I had 10, 11, 12. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so now I'm gonna go on with Accelerate or whatever. This beautiful like red kind of shimmery color. So I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna go in with this pretty color right here. And I'm gonna go in the my crease again, but kind of just I don't know. I don't know. Kind of go in like my outer crease. That's what I was trying to say, yeah. Go Lindsay. She can talk. She's learning how to walk. Go Lindsay. Yeah, yeah. Also, if you guys notice, I'm not using my ring light. I'm actually filming during the day. Isn't it great? I'm not like too worried about it looking perfect because am I ever? <laughs> I like these colors together. It's just that they're shimmery. That's like throwing me off a little bit. It's probably gonna look worse on camera because that's like my life, but um, it's like, there's a little bit of fallout. It's not too bad, but I just, I don't know, leave me alone. <laughs> I keep looking at the viewfinder, I need to stop, that's so annoying. Okay, so I used two of the colors, we have three more to go. So I used these two colors in my crease, this one's more in the outer crease, um, and I still have like the purple shimmery, the brown shimmery, and then the jet black. So I guess they're not all shimmers, the black is um, uh, a matte. So I think, I'm like imagining looks because I could put this on my lid and then this in the outer corner. Mm. I could put this on my lid, this in the outer corner, and then no. I could put this on my lid, this on the outer corner, and then this like underneath, or I could put this on my lid, this underneath, and this in my outer corner. Either way, the black's gonna probably go in the outer corner. I don't know where else to put it, but I'm trying to pick which one's gonna be on my lid and which one's gonna go on my under eye. I'm thinking the purple on my lid, but then I'm like, okay, usually people put a pop of color right here, so maybe that would make more sense, but then it might look too dark up here. So that's what I'm debating in my head, if you see me spacing out. And I'm sure some of you are yelling at the screen, and I can't hear you, so I am sorry, but I don't know what to do. Mm, I'm gonna fuck this up. I already know it. I'm gonna mess this up so bad. I'm trying to imagine it like this, and then this, or like this, and then a pop of color. I think I'm gonna do the brown and then the pop of color, like the purple underneath. So I'm gonna go in with this color all over my lid, and it is called Double Life, and it is a shimmery brown, really, really freaking pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. And like, these colors right now look really good together. It's just the fact that they're all shimmers, where it's like, it looks a little, a little messy. A little muddy, you know? Oh, that one had a lot of fallout. Oh, I wish I didn't do my makeup before this because... 
So this is what I have so far. I obviously have to clean it, so leave me alone. I'm gonna try and blend it out with my Beach Cosmetics brush. Actually, no. I'm gonna use a Morphe blending brush. I don't know where this energy is coming from because I've been like filming all day. And I have so much freaking fallout. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so bad. Like, I don't know if you can see, but there's fallout and it's really, it's only with that brown. Ah. Yang it. It's really not that bad. I'm just dramatic. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to try and like fix this. I'm going to let that bake under my eye because I really wish I did my eyeshadow first. But that's just me. That's just me. So we are going to take the black jet color. I thought I was going to burp. <laughs> there it is. I'm going to use the e.l.f. brush and I'm just going to dip in there and probably do a really sloppy job. All right. And we're going to go out here. Oh my god, the fallout is so bad. I really like this palette and I like the formula. I've used it before. But the fallout, I forgot how... It's really not that bad, but like just do your makeup after, you know. I don't know if I like these. I don't know if I like any of these. You can kind of see it. It's not showing up the best. I think it's the brush I'm using. I'm going to sweep this off because I have so much black. I don't know if you can see it. I have so much black shadow. I, mean, I hate how it looks because then it falls into my pores, bitch. Okay, so we use these two colors in my crease, most in the outer corner crease. We used the brown shimmery color all over my lid and we used the black in the outer corners of my eyes. It didn't show up that well. Um, I think just because the brush I use and it's sitting on top of like shimmers and stuff. So, um, but normally I'm sure it's fine. And then we are going to use the purple on my lower lash line with my flathead Morphe brush. So yeah, here we go. I'm like out of breath from doing my makeup. Who am I? <laughs> Who gets out of breath from it? Okay. Let me show you guys up close what I got. And you're going to see fallout on my face and I can't help it. I've tried sweeping it off and tried putting powder on it. So this is as good as it gets. <laughs> oh, there's like powder right there too with it. All right. This is the best it can get. <laughs> All right, so this these are my eyes. What is there? I thought I saw a speck. Like showing this up close, like it looks so bad. It's hard working with shimmers, okay? It's like you can't control them as much. It's like really sloppy, but whatever. So this is my look. <laughs> um, as you guys can tell, it is um, pretty sloppy. Let me zoom out more. So as you guys can tell, this look is very dark and it is a little bit sloppy. It is really hard working with shimmers because normally when you have a shimmer, the most you ever do with one is put it on your finger, you put it on your lid, or you put it in the corner of your um, eye to highlight it. Like it's not something that you normally like have to really blend out or like put in a precise place. And I feel like with shimmers, they just move very easily. They flake off very easily. And when I say flake off, I mean like fall out and just like transferring and stuff. So um, it was a lot harder to do a full look with almost all shimmers. Like here, let me try and get close to you guys. Yeah, you can kind of see it. So I tried to do a pop of color with the purple. And then the black didn't show up very well on top of the shimmers, but I tried. Alright guys, so if you want to see me do any other makeup challenges, please, please, please comment down below and let me know what you want to see me try. But it was really nice to just sit down and have fun with makeup. I do really love the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. It's actually um, one of my current favorite palettes that's like out right now and I think it's really underrated. I did complain about the fallout, but that's only because... 
um, I was wearing my face makeup before doing my eyeshadow, which a normal person would do their face, their, um, eyeshadow first and then their face makeup. So, um, it does have a little bit of fallout, but I still think this is worth the buy. It has so many beautiful colors. If you want to see me do a different look with this palette that's not all shimmers and super dark, um, please let me know and I would love to. This blue looks so gorgeous. Look at that blue. It's like an icy blue. It's so pretty. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching this video and loving me and supporting me and everything that I do. And I had so much fun filming this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!